If you would like to understand the details of an artificial urinary sphincter for male urinary incontinence, watch this video. Many thanks for joining us again today. We're gonna to show you some uh, animation and some video of an artificial urinary sphincter for male incontinence. These are devices that are used occasionally uh, for men with uh, urinary incontinence, usually after radical prostatectomy. Although this is a rare incident, it does occur, and there are many men who are left with urinary incontinence um, worldwide after radical prostatectomy. You'll remember that in one of our earlier videos we demonstrated exactly why there is damage to this uh, urinary sphincter. So this is the um, circular muscle which sits around the urethra at the uh, tip of the prostate and this can become damaged during removal of the prostate for cancer. The idea of the artificial urinary sphincter is that it replaces or complements uh, the natural sphincter and helps with urine control. There are three components to the device. You'll see here the pressure regulating balloon, which is inserted behind the muscles of the abdomen. There's the cuff itself, which sits around the urethra, and this replaces the uh, natural sphincter that we, uh, we all have. Uh, and this is obviously damaged uh, to a degree during radical prostatectomy. The third part of the device is the pump in the scrotum, uh, which will open the device and allow urine to flow. After a number of seconds, the cuff itself will reinflate automatically. The animation video that follows will hopefully help you to understand how this device works. In the resting state, the sphincter is compressing the urethra. When you need to void, you simply press the pump in the scrotum and this moves fluid from the sphincter and urine will flow. Automatically over about 90 seconds, the sphincter fills up again and compresses the urethra. So this is one of the options for urinary incontinence following radical prostatectomy. Uh, there are other options and this needs careful discussion with your urologist. Please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. We will be including an operative video of this procedure in the near future. So please like, please subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching.